The king has donkey ears. Once upon a time, there lived a wise and noble king. The king had a secret that he couldn't share with anyone. Because of this secret, the king worried on his own every day. My ears are even bigger than yesterday. What should I do? If this carries on, my servants and even my subjects will stare at me. Everyone will be shocked at my ears, won't they? No, they won't be surprised. They'll make fun of me. Every day, the king worried that people would notice his constantly growing ears. This crown won't do anymore. Bring me a master craftsman who can make me a new crown right away. Yes, your majesty. The king's servants searched all the land to find the best master craftsman to make the king's new crown. They finally found the right person and brought him to the king. Your majesty, this old man is known to be the best maker of crowns in the whole country. Really? Go out and leave me with this old man. When the king and the old man were alone, the king took off his crown. Lift up your head and look at me. Your highness. Oh my goodness! As the old man lifted his head and looked at the king, he was suddenly taken aback. No way! The king has do donkey ears! My goodness, I've committed a capital offence, please pardon me. The king was angry with the old man, but he said nothing. I've got a difficult request for you. Make me a crown that can hide my huge ears. Yes, your majesty. However, you mustn't mention my ears to anyone. If you tell anyone, you will die. I will keep that in mind, your majesty. A few days later, the old man brought a sparkling new crown to the king. It was the right size and length to hide the king's donkey ears. It was made by a master craftsman, so it must be good. Thank you, your majesty. However, the old man wanted to tell people so much that he struggled to keep his mouth shut. The old man would suddenly think about the king's ears while he was walking in a conversation with someone or eating and would suddenly burst out with laughter. People noticed this and thought that the old man had become quite strange. A day, two days, three days, then a few weeks passed by. The old man got so frustrated at not being able to tell anyone that he fell ill and lay in bed. No matter what medicine he tried, it was no use. I can't carry on like this. It makes no difference whether I die of this illness or get caught and killed by the king. I'd better get it over with and tell someone. The old man got up and began to walk. The old man came across an empty field of reeds. What? There's no one here? The old man shouted with all his strength, but he heard only the sound of the rustling weeds. The king has donkey ears! The king has donkey ears! The old man shouted and shouted in the field of reeds. Now that I've let it out, I have no regrets. From then on, for a few days, the old man went out into the world with a happy smile. Then, a few days after the old man had gone out, Your Majesty, something terrible has happened. The people are making a fuss, saying that a strange voice was heard from a field of reeds in a town far away. What did the strange voice say? 
Uh, um, well, it said, the king has donkey ears. What? Then destroy that field of reeds immediately. When the king heard what his servants reported, he ordered the field of reeds to be completely chopped down. The wind blew again. The king has donkey ears. The king has donkey ears. The reeds had disappeared, but the voice could still be heard in the wind. Hmm. The king has donkey ears. Can you hear it too? Yes, I can. It's a strange thing to hear. There's no one speaking. But when the wind blows, that voice can be heard. As there was no one left who hadn't heard the rumour, the king made a big decision. I can't carry on hiding it any longer. The king took off the crown in front of his servants, which he had never done before, and showed them his ears. Your Majesty! The servants who saw him were surprised, but they said nothing. After that, the king no longer hid his huge ears. He confidently showed his ears in public. Thanks to his huge ears, the king's subjects obeyed him. He became a better ruler and the most outstanding king ever.